Good morning and welcome to New South Wales Health's COVID-19 update for Tuesday the 11th of May 2021. New South Wales recorded no new locally acquired cases of COVID-19 in the 24 hours to 8pm last night. Four new cases were acquired overseas in the same period, bringing the total number of cases in New South Wales since the beginning of the pandemic to 5,353. 7,724 tests were reported to 8pm last night, compared with the 13,768 in the previous 24 hours. High testing rates are vital for detecting any unidentified chains of transmission in the community as early as possible. New South Wales Health continues to urge everyone in New South Wales with even milder symptoms to come forward immediately for testing, then isolate until you receive a negative result. New South Wales Health administered 6,297 vaccines in the 24 hours to 8 p.m. last night, including 2,379 vaccines at the new centre in Sydney and Epic Park. This brings the total number of vaccines administered by New South Wales Health to 242,149. New South Wales Health is treating 111 COVID-19 cases, one of whom is in intensive care and being ventilated. Despite extensive investigations into the source of two locally acquired cases announced last week, New South Wales Health has not identified how the initial case was exposed to COVID-19. They may have acquired the infection through brief contact with a currently unidentified person who was infectious in the community. A full list of venues of concern connected with the two recent lo locally acquired cases is available on the New South Wales government website. As announced on Sunday, to safeguard the community and reduce the risk of further transmission, the New South Wales Government has extended one by one week the temporary COVID safe measures for the Greater Sydney region. These measures will remain in effect until 12.01am Monday the 17th of May. There are more than 300 COVID-19 testing locations across New South Wales, many of whom are open seven days a week. To find your nearest clinic, visit our website or contact your GP. Thanks very much.